Hey guys, Evan with Stock Music Musician here with a few quick tips to get you up and running on Reason 9.5 when it comes out this week. There's really just five steps I want you to take to make sure that you're ready and raring to use Reason 9.5 as soon as it's released so you can get all those tasty VSTs going in your uh, propeller head DAW and just lock yourself you know, in your recording studio or wherever you make music this weekend and get going with it. So without further ado, here they are. Uh, number one, do you own Reason 9? If you don't own Reason 9 yet, you need to get it uh, because Reason 9.5 is a free upgrade for owners of Reason 9, but it's not a free upgrade for anybody else. Um, before I had done a review on Reason 9 when it first came out, and I didn't think it was a worthwhile jump between Reason 8 and Reason 9. I thought it was worth it for Reason 7, but I didn't think Reason 9 and Reason 8, there was enough of a difference to justify it. However, and you can see the review up there, or down there, there's a link. However, now that VST support is in Reason, I can unequivocally say you should get Reason 9.5. If you own any version of Reason prior to 9, you should get Reason 9.5. And if you don't already own it, there's an affiliate link down below you can purchase an upgrade copy, it would really support the channel. If you've already got Reason 9, you're good to go. But if you're looking to get Reason 9.5, uh, and you need to get Reason 9 first, and you can get that today, get it out of the way, and that brings us to step two. You actually need to install Reason 9. Um, the install from Reason 9 is uh, can take some time, it's uh, depending on what version of Reason you're running. It could take some time to get Reason 9 set up. So you need to go and get Reason 9 installed on your computer and ready to go. And then Reason 9.5 is sort of a download. You'll get an alert within Reason 9 itself that tells you that there's an update that you can download. And you click that button, Reason 9.5 will download. And that'll probably take 10 minutes or something. It's like at least the beta was like, I don't remember, maybe. It was under a gigabyte. So um, you want to be ready to go to download Reason 9.5 when it comes out, which means you've got to have Reason 9 installed. Another thing now, the third step, is to get your VSTs ready. Um, now, what this means is you need to buy these VSTs probably beforehand, at least some of them, because it takes a while to download certain sets. Like Wave, uh, sorry, uh, Native Instruments Complete, like that'll take years to download. There, there, some of these VSTs are like gigabytes. Not all of them, but it couldn't hurt to have the VSTs already purchased and downloaded onto your computer so that you can just add them to reason. And I'm gonna do a video linking exactly how to add VSTs into your reason 9.5 account. Um, there'll be a link up there and down there once they're ready. So you're wondering what VSTs to get. I've also made a video on the VSTs that I'm most looking forward to. Similarly, links. Um, then the big thing I'd recommend is that you get organized because one of the big things I've noticed in Reason 9.5 is that it basically quintuples the amount of things you have to keep track of because you've got all your reason patches and your reason samples which reason does a decent enough job of organizing but your entire VST samples and libraries and presets all sit separately within their own folders and files so if you've done a lot of work on VSTs um, you want to make sure that this is actually in a laid out in a way that's organized and easy to find your patches and your presets that you like because Reason's browser doesn't necessarily make that the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, so I would use this time to get your VST house in order. Which brings me to my fifth point, which would be also getting your Reason house in order. If you've got sample libraries that you need to clean up, or if you're not really running it properly on a second hard drive, this could be a good time to shift your files there. Uh, have you backed up your files lately? I've told... I've had a lot of horror stories with it. I made a video about why you should absolutely always be backing up to the cloud. If you haven't done it, I'm going to say it again. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, and so those are the five things I think you need to do to get ready for Reason 9.5. And if you do these, uh, you should be able to download it as soon as it comes out and be up and running shortly. So buy Reason, install it, buy your VSTs, get everything organized, 
and do some housekeeping. Uh, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like. If you've got any comments about what else you would do to get ready for Reason 9.5, please leave it in the comments. And uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel.